Yo, hoop fans, your sideline sage, Tips and Streams, is lacing up once again. On deck, deep dives into the freshest NBA clashes, ready to set the planks ablaze. But before we jump the ball, be sure to hammer that subscribe on our YouTube channel to keep hooked with our sharp forecasts and prime selections. All right, let's bounce into today's NBA crystal ball reads. The first prediction for today is for the game between the Boston Celtics and Miami Heat. As the NBA playoffs intensify, the Boston Celtics are gearing up to clash with the Miami Heat in a crucial Game 4 at the Kaseya Center in Miami. Currently leading the series 2-1, the Celtics have been in formidable form, especially during their recent 104-84 triumph over the Heat. This matchup is pivotal for both squads, but it's particularly critical for Miami as they aim to steer clear of a 3-1 hole. Boston has been on fire, with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown each pouring in 22 points in their last victory. The Celtics have displayed impressive shooting accuracy, sinking 47.6% of their field goals and 29.7% from three-point land. Their defensive efforts have been equally noteworthy, limiting the heat to just 41.6% from the field. Despite enjoying the home court advantage, the Heat struggled to establish a groove in Game 3. Bam Adebayo put up a solid 20 points and grabbed 9 rebounds, yet the team couldn't match Boston's offensive surge. Their performance from the three-point line was particularly weak, with a mere 32.1% success rate. Statistically, the Celtics shine, averaging 120.6 points per game, with a field goal percentage of 48.7%. They are strong on the boards, averaging 46.3 rebounds per game, and have kept a tight defense, holding opponents to 109.2 points per game on 45.3% shooting. The Heat, though defensively solid with only 108.4 points allowed per game, lag offensively, ranking 22nd with a shooting accuracy of 46.5% from the floor. Boston's ability to dictate the pace and leverage their bench depth has been crucial in this series. Players like Derek White and Kristaps Porzingis have consistently supported their leading duo. For Miami, Tyler Harrow and Bam Adebayo must step up their game significantly to challenge the Celtics, particularly with key figures like Jimmy Butler out. Reflecting on recent encounters in Miami, Boston appears to have decoded how to exploit the Heat's defensive gaps, especially around the perimeter and in-ball handling. The Celtics' well-rounded offense and superior squad depth have overwhelmed the Heat as seen in their last meeting. The analysis strongly suggests that Boston will continue their dominant streak. They've consistently outplayed and outscored their opponents, even against significant odds such as the current 10.5-point margin. With their proven track record under pressure and statistical edge in offense and defense, the Celtics are the favorites to win and secure a decisive 3-1 series lead. I'm backing the Boston Celtics to win and covering the spread in Game 4. The next prediction for today is for the game between Oklahoma City Thunder and New Orleans Pelicans. As the NBA playoffs press on, we're at a critical juncture in the Western Conference showdown at the Smoothie King Center. The top-ranked Oklahoma City Thunder are on the verge of a clean sweep, leading the series 3-0 against the 8th-ranked New Orleans Pelicans ahead of Game 4. The Thunder have been relentless, overwhelming the Pelicans with precise shooting and formidable defense throughout the series. The Thunder have been surgical in their approach, averaging 108 points per game with a remarkable 50% shooting accuracy from the field, while limiting the Pelicans to just 89.7 points on only 40.3% shooting. Oklahoma City has been particularly deadly from three-point land, hitting 42.3% of their shots from deep, a testament to their depth and sharp shooting prowess. Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been pivotal, averaging 28.3 points, with significant support from Jalen Williams and Chet Holmgren, who have been crucial on both offense and defense. On the other hand, the Pelicans have faced considerable difficulties, particularly with Zion Williamson sidelined due to injury, leaving a significant gap in their offensive strategy and team cohesion. The team's top scorers, C.J. McCollum and Brandon Ingram, have struggled to compensate, with the team's scoring significantly reduced in the postseason. Their three-point accuracy has dropped to 27.8%, severely affecting their ability to match Oklahoma City's scoring runs. Looking at their recent matchups and overall season performance, the Thunder have dominated, continuing a trend from their regular season encounters. This series is their first playoff clash, and Oklahoma City has effectively used their regular season momentum, showing strategic depth and exceptional court execution. 
The Thunder's strategic control over game pace and defensive tenacity have effectively neutralized the Pelicans' offensive plays. Moreover, their strong performance in Game 3 on the road, where they significantly extended their lead before halftime, demonstrates their ability to apply pressure away from their home court, an important aspect as they enter another away game. Considering betting dynamics, the Thunder have been solid in covering the spread, exhibiting resilience and strategic sharpness that bodes well for continued success. Their ability to sustain high shooting percentages and dominate both offensive and defensive rebounds has given them a significant advantage. Additionally, their knack for finishing games strongly suggests they will not only win, but also comfortably cover the spread in the upcoming game. Given the comprehensive analysis of both teams' performances and strategic matchups, the Oklahoma City Thunder are poised to not only clinch Game 4, but also cover the spread, completing the sweep. The Pelicans will undoubtedly attempt to salvage their season, but seem outmatched and ill-prepared to halt the Thunder's charge. The final game in a series, especially the closeout match, is notoriously the toughest to win, particularly for less experienced teams. The young Thunder showed nerves in the opener so it will be intriguing to see their response if the Pelicans manage to keep the score tight. However, with nothing left to lose but their pride, New Orleans is expected to play with freedom, even as they face the daunting prospect of a sweep. Given the Thunder's consistent performance of holding New Orleans below 100 points in every game, I anticipate they will seal the deal and advance to the next round. In conclusion, I expect the Oklahoma City Thunder to secure a win and cover the spread. Their superior shooting accuracy, rebounding prowess, and defensive strength will lead them to a decisive victory, closing the series and moving forward. The last prediction for today is for the game between Los Angeles Lakers and Denver Nuggets. Tonight, the NBA's Western Conference brings a high-stakes showdown to the ball arena as the Denver Nuggets host the Los Angeles Lakers for a pivotal Game 5 in the first round of the playoffs. Throughout this series, both squads have flexed their basketball prowess in different ways, yet the Lakers are now teetering on the edge, desperate for a victory to prolong their season. Under the leadership of Anthony Davis and LeBron James, the Lakers have displayed incredible grit, particularly during Game 4 where their combined efforts shifted the momentum in their favor. Davis has been relentless, averaging 30.5 points and 15.8 rebounds per game in this series while LeBron has also been instrumental, adding 27.3 points per game. The Lakers' offensive drive is further supported by Austin Reeves and D'Angelo Russell, who play key roles in sharpening their attack, especially in their weaker three-point shooting, which stands at only 30.4%. On the flip side, Denver aims to use their home court advantage to close out the series. Nikola Jokic remains a formidable force, with averages of 29 points and over 15 rebounds per game. Supporting him, Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray bolster the lineup, though Murray's contributions have been uneven. Denver's edge comes from their robust defensive plays, excellent rebounding, and their superior free throw accuracy at 85.7%. The Nuggets have a history of outplaying the Lakers at the ball arena, and their consistent performance at home becomes even more crucial in these high-pressure games. The injury report also looms large, with the Lakers potentially missing Cam Reddish and Jared Vanderbilt, impacting their bench depth. Denver faces uncertainty with Jamal Murray nursing a calf injury, which could hinder his pivotal role in their offensive strategies. Reflecting on the last five matchups in Denver, the Nuggets have typically had the upper hand, especially when closing out games. The Lakers have demonstrated competitive spirit, leading in several contests, but the Nuggets' ability to execute in crunch time has often been the deciding factor. Despite a challenging period where Denver has seemed off their game in recent outings and with the Lakers facing an even tougher slump, the Nuggets have managed to maintain a slight advantage. The Lakers, however, are not going down without a fight, determined to take this battle back to Los Angeles. Though the odds are steep, expect them to deliver a fierce challenge, possibly turning this game into a nail-bitting thriller. If the Nuggets don't take this last game as a wake-up call, their chances against the Timberwolves look bleak, and I predict the series might wrap up in no more than five games. My money is on the Los Angeles Lakers to keep it tight and cover the eight-point spread.